Hello everybody, Rogue Fox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today, I wanted to share with you one of my favorite redstone circuits. Now, it may not be my absolute favorite, but it is at the top of the list. And today, that circuit I'm sharing with you is the Piston Observer Circuit. Now, I'm not quite sure if that's its official name. I haven't really seen an official name for this circuit, but ever since I've been using it, I've always called it the Piston Observer Circuit for obvious reasons. And if you've been following some of my tutorials, you may have seen this featured in many of my builds. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few of them. When Bedrock Edition was still in version 1.2.5, we were able to use this Piston Observer Circuit that you see right here. Now this is actually from my first automatic pumpkin and melon farm that I posted on my channel. And since then, as soon as version 1.2.6 came out, it has been broken. All it does is create an eternal clock. Now we jump forward to today. We have this automatic pumpkin and melon farm design that I have here, and it's actually one of the more popular videos on the channel. So if you haven't seen this one, how this one works, we have our pumpkins and melons growing right here. As soon as they grow, you can see we get ourselves one extension of the pistons, just like that, and they don't create an eternal clock. Another use for the circuit is for the automatic sugarcane farm. Now, I featured this build in Season 1 of my Survival Series, and I am aware that there are other ways to use the Observer, such as placing them above the Pistons in order to get the Shuricane Farm to work, but at the time, I was low on resources, so I went with the Piston Observer Circuit, and this worked out for me pretty well. So, it was contingent upon this Shuricane growing right here, just like that, so that activates all the Pistons. Not the most efficient, but it definitely got the job done. Now, I could show you a few more builds that feature this circuit, but I just wanted to show you this last one, and this is the automatic stone generator. Again, this is using our piston observer circuit, so if we flip our lever here, you can see that generates our stone, that gets our piston going, one pump, and then our stone is being pushed out, so then we can mine it up. Now, for those of you who haven't seen any of those tutorials, you may be asking, how do I make this piston observer circuit? And the answer is very easy, if we just come up right behind here, this is all the circuit is. Nice and simple, a couple of repeaters, a handful of redstone dust. So how this works, we have our observer right here. Once this block is detected, so for example, something grows or anything like that, that's going to give us one pump. That is detected by the observer, which then powers that block, which then powers all this redstone. Now the catch here is that this redstone powers this repeater, which is going to power our piston, but you will also notice that we have a repeater running into this one, and that sets the two ticks of delay. Now the reason for this is to cut off that signal from making an eternal clock. So if we come over here, we have the same exact circuit, except minus all the repeaters. Now if we go ahead and try to do it this way, yeah, so that creates an eternal clock, and that becomes very annoying. So to avoid that, we added these repeaters here. So when we place our block, or if anything grows, we just get the one. Now, I'll try my best to explain it, but it's probably more visual, so what's going on here is when our redstone is activated, this powers our piston in one tick, and then a tick later, this repeater right here is going to lock up this one, so you can see it kind of does a double flash once it activates, just like that, you can see it at the end, that double flash right there, so that is what creates the eternal clock over here, let's go ahead and grab some redstone. So you can see it just keeps flashing and flashing, gets very annoying. So in order to cut that off, we use this repeater lock circuit right here. And that is pretty much it. So hopefully that explains it pretty well. Again, it's more visual. You can go ahead and build this for yourselves. Observer, block, redstone, a repeater set to one tick running into your piston. And then you have a repeater running into this repeater set to two ticks. Of course, there are other variations to this design. Other than the observer being on the other side of the circuit, the red zone is set up a little bit different, but it still follows the same mechanics. We have our one tick of delay on the repeater running into the piston, and then we have our repeater set to two ticks running into that repeater to lock it up. So there's that circuit right there. Now if we move on over here, this design is a little bit bulkier, but you can see we have the observer up top this time, and the piston is down below. So there we go, there's that in action. Now the observer is going to power this block, which is then going to power this repeater, which is then going to power this redstone, activating our piston. So there is our one tick delay right here. And then on this side, this is our two ticks of delay. We have a repeater 
and a repeater here, both set to one tick, making two ticks. So there is that design right there. I don't know if you can really see what's going on there. But if you want to take a picture of this, again, I'm not quite sure why you would need this circuit. It is pretty bulky, but here it is right here. There's the top view, and then here is the side view. So there is that variation. Now if we move on over here, we have a little bit different setup. We have the observer down below, the piston up top, so it works just like that. Now how this one works, this observer, when detecting our block here, is going to power this block with our redstone dust up top. That's going to power our repeater set to one tick, powering the piston. And then over here, we have two ticks of delay, once again, on our two repeaters. So there's that, you can set it up that way. And then for our final design, and I personally like this the most, only because we can hide this the best with our redstone. So if we cover that up, you can see this is the only thing that's showing. Now unfortunately, you can't use this for the pumpkin and melon farm, because they won't grow on top of the observer. But you can use this for other things such as an automatic ice maker. So here is the demonstration, just like that. Again, we have our one pump from the piston. And then if we take a look down below, you can get a screenshot probably right there. This observer powers that block. We have our one ticket delay. That's going to power this redstone, powering the block, which powers our piston. And then right here, we have our two ticks of delay running into that repeater. So those are the different variations of the piston observer circuit. And there you have it, the piston observer circuit. As I mentioned, this is one of my favorite redstone circuits in Minecraft. You can see there are many uses for it especially when it comes to farms. With that being said, this is the end of our video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Rogue Fox, and I'm out. I'll see you later.